Hey YouTube, part two of a series on trying to improve the infamous 90 amp Chicago Electric aka Harbor Freight flux cord wire feed welder. Um, there's a part one of this series where we go through the real simple mods, change the wire, set it upright, stuff like that. Um, here in part two, we're going to dive into some much more serious stuff. So I'm going to assume that you know a couple of basic things. I'm going to assume you know the difference between AC and DC power, why you want one or the other for flux cord wire, stuff like that. Um, functionally, this thing is a big transformer in a box. You get AC from the wall, you get AC out to the torch. There's no rectifier in it anywhere. The min and max settings do nothing but change where the secondary is tapped on the transformer. So you get a higher voltage and therefore more current on the max setting because you've got more windings on the, on the transformer. What we're going to do is we're going to add this bad boy. This is a 100 amp, I believe it is, yeah, <laughs> 1600 volt. Don't need that, but the 100 amp is critical. Um, electrical bridge rectifier. Now, what this device is really is just four big meaty diodes that take the AC in and through a bridge rectifier circuit convert it into a bunch of humps. So it's not smooth, it's not DC like you think of out of a battery, uh, but it is all one polarity. So we got two contacts right down here at the bottom. These are where the AC comes in. We got a minus and a plus coming out the other side. Now, the second thing we're gonna add is this. This is a capacitor. This one, this is the 50 volt DC, 75 surge, and this one happens to be, what is it, 46,000 microfarads. Um, that's a little small, frankly, for what we're doing. Uh, MIG welding or flux cord welding is essentially a short circuit process. A um, couple of hundred thousand microfarads would be nice, but I was going cheap. Right, uh, the welder was actually given to me, it was free. And so I, the last thing I wanted to do was go out and spend 100 or $150 on parts uh, when frankly you could buy a decent used welder for that kind of money on, on Craigslist or something. So uh, this is an eBay special, $19.99 uh, shipped direct. This I actually picked up at a local uh, ham fest, which is like a garage sale for ham radio operators. This cost me five bucks. So I'm going to have $25 uh, plus, you know, a little bit of wire connector, stuff like that. We'll call it 30 bucks tops invested in a welder that was given to me. And when it's done, it will be an honest to God, uh, DC convertible electrode negative or, or positive welder. Um, because this doesn't have the capability to run gas, it's only ever going to be flux core. I'm going to set it up for DC electrode negative. That's what flux core wants. Um, in order to switch it, it would be kind of a pain, but I can't imagine why I'm ever going to switch it. So uh, with that, let's dive into disassembling this box and find out where we're going to put all of that junk.